You might not know this image of three firemen at Ground Zero 2001, but I'm sure you know its famous example from 56 years earlier. Hi and welcome to the very first episode of Iconic Photographs where I present you the most impressive and important pictures that have been captured since the beginning of photojournalism. Pretty much exactly 70 years ago, on 23rd of February 1945, Associated Press photographer Joe Rosenthal took one of the most republished and recognizable images of photojournalism history of ever and even established the record of winning the Pulitzer Prize for a photo in the same year it was published. The capture shows the raising of a second Star Sprangled Banner on a mountain in Iwo Jima four days after the beginning of the battle between American troops invading this little island hundreds of kilometers off the coast of Japan. So at half past 10 on the 23rd of February 1945, a troop of American soldiers haul up an American flag at the top of the mountain called Suribachi using an old water pipe that was lying around. But the photo of this event that photographer Lou Lowe recaptured actually never went that viral. The regiment that stayed at the bottom of Mount Suribachi acclaimed this flag but said it was too small to be seen properly. So they ordered a swap, which was actually considered to be quite unspectacular from the people involved. But since escorting for Photographer Joe Rosenthal took 18 pictures of this. The event became highly famous in war history when one of them got published two days later in almost all of the Sunday newspaper magazines across the United States. Because of the huge number of casualties the USA suffered from at the time, the picture fell just in the right moment into the hands of responsible propaganda department since it pictures victory and patriotism. But in reality it was raised during a time when nobody was even close to being victorious. It wasn't even a real hoist, just the replacement of another flag. The flag that was raised actually still exists. It is displayed in the National Museum of Marine Corps until today. Unfortunately, three of the six men in the picture did not survive the following war actions. All of the three became celebrities after they were identified. Two months later, Soviet photographer Jevgeny Chaldez took a similar image of a Red Army soldier raising his flag on the German Reichstag. But we don't know if he knew its famous predecessor. Joe Rosenthal says about the taking of the image, Out of the corner of my eye, I had seen the man start the flag up. I swung my camera and shot the scene. That is how the picture was taken. And when you take a picture like this, you don't come away saying you got a great shot. You just don't know. Hey, since this is my very first episode, what do you think of it? Is there an image you would love to see an episode on next? Just tell me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and always remember, bring your camera because it can capture even the shortest moment for a lifetime. <laughs>